was able to design Disney characters with these five steps without using any 3D tools, only with Photoshop. If you don't know anything about 3D and you like to design Disney characters realistically, let's dive in. Well, hello to all my YouTube friends. Without wasting time, I'm going to teach you how to make a Disney cartoon character from zero to end in these five steps. So let's get into it. General idea. I have decided to make a view of an abyss with the pixie dust tree and a lost fairy who was able to find it by chance. Well, with these explanations, Let's start today's project. We have to complete these five steps. The first step is to make the lost fairy of our story, and then let's move on to the next steps. Making a fairy requires an initial pose that we design with her special clothes, and finally add the most important part, the shining wings. So let's go to make the fairy first. As I explained, first of all, I select the desired pose and enter it into the environment and then narrow and widen the dimensions of its hands and feet like Disney fantasy characters. And when our pose is determined, we go to its special clothes, which I used this photo, I selected her leafy dress and put it on our fairy's body and fit it with puppet warp. Then I applied some shadow and highlight to make it look more 3D. And then I went to add her wings. To find its stock, I searched a lot on Google and various sites until I finally found it. I will add them to the fairy and finish the fairy work. Now that the fairy is finished, let's go to the second step, making the environment and making a right perspective work. To create the environment like the previous work, I used a bunch of different pictures of nature and selected them and arranged them next to each other. And for more details, I also added a series of stones, flowers and bushes and selected them wherever necessary with the pen tool. And finally, I adjusted those distant areas with warp and finished the work of the environment. In the third step, after the creation of the environment is ticked, we go to create the pixie dust tree. To prepare the tree, first of all, I tried to put it in the environment, and I tried to bring the trunk of the tree into the environment with this photo. And by making a mask, and with a simple brush, I attached it to the trunk of the tree, and adjusted its color with a few adjustment layers, and then adjusted the angle with warp, as always. First of all, the best technique for creating a magical scene is to use overlays and change its mode to screen and color dodge. I start with when this stage is finished, we go to the key stage of the work, that is, adding magic to the work. I start with the wings. First change the layer mode to color dodge and give them a shiny face, and then I create a new layer with screen mode and give it a glow with a bright color, and finally, Add some particles and a few more overlays and go to the pixie dust tree. For that too, like the fairy, I use many overlays and particles with different angles and set their colors together and adjust their angles with warp and then create a layer to make glow for them, give them a magical view. So let's go to the last step. It doesn't matter what project you are working on. This step is an essential part of all graphic work. The final step Final touch. In this step, merge all the layers together and give your final work an attractive color grade with light and modified color with camera raw filter or Lightroom and make your audience's eyes look like a heart. And finally, this is you. And this is the result of our work and our five steps. Well guys, this video is over and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, I really need it these days. Until the next video, be safe and keep creating.